Welcome back. So our model ran. It took about two and a half minutes to run on an extra small database. And what I'm going to do now is I will reshare my screen with you. And we'll just go through a little bit of the cool stuff that was generated from this model. All right. So what we can see here is, is each run through the series, we've been able to actually take the feature name and whether it was user provided or derived um, from other values and basically give a score. You can see one of the highest score was temperature here, right? On series number seven, which we iterated for 14 series, I believe. And with 14 series, we were able to iterate to, this was the highest predictor on this series, series seven. So week seven of our prediction, we had a very correlated score on terms of temperature, also had a very correlated score with fuel price. You can kind of look at some of these features and better understand your models and also better understand what's causing the changes in sales to go up or to go down or you know what what things inside your sales model are affecting it. You know, we we only used a very limited subset of features here, but this features could be anything. I, I you know, as I will note in the blog, there's there's multiple things. BOGO sales, you know, are great. Some people love BOGO sales. Some people love fuel saver sales. Um, that kind of information can help derive your sales information for your store. Um, so what we'll also do here is I will step back and we will go take a look at the model that was predicted into our sales demo table. You can see it right here. You can see I've run this in the past. You noticed on the last one, I got a little error. That's just because I've already run this model when preparing for the demo. And the model came out with a V1 or V2. So I actually should go back and just show you from that worksheet right here. Just a quick one. I just changed this information, Walmart. This was V1. I changed it to V2 and future sales, V1, V2. I also changed it here and here. So you saw that in the, probably the end of the last demo. Just wanted to add some clarification to that. But let's quickly now go back to the database and get on track. So let's take a look at the table that we built and predicted. We can actually preview the data. So here's our preview data. This is our forecast, this is our upper bound, this is our lower bound. And what we can do, which I love to do here, is we're gonna go into our projects and we can just simply pull this open with a worksheet right here. Uh, we can pull this worksheet, nope, which one is it? To get our upper and lower bounds and create a really nice uh, piece of information, we can just create, Here's my old one. What we will do is just create an SQL sheet and we're going to say select, select all from our demo table. And I'm going to put that just out here. We just created this table. So this table includes the information. I'm going to place the name in the editor there. We're just going to run this with a warehouse selected. Here we go. And if we want to go to charts, this helps us build. You can see it's not quite here, but what we'll do is a simple line x axis integer. All right, simple line graph. Instead of forecast, we will use our x axis is our time series. Perfect. Here we can see kind of the prediction, but I don't really like that. We don't need to fill the area. What I also want to do is add some columns for upper, and I will add columns for upper bounds and lower bounds here. And now we can kind of see a graph taking shape here, right? Using our predictive model, we can kind of say the green line here is the upper bound, the you know maximum predicted sales for that store. Forecast is what they're predicting the dead on number to be. Lower bound is also is the, you know, what we think the lowest sales could possibly be during that time. So you see, you can make a really nice chart here. And if you want, you can just download this chart and you can pop this chart in. You can download this. This can go into a slide deck if you were looking for it um, right here, just popped up very easy. So I hope you enjoyed this demo of how to make a chart, how to build a predictive model, and then pull that chart out that you can use immediately in a slide deck to help predict this, these models. Um, you can also look into your models. Um, if you need any help with any of this kind of stuff, please reach out to PH Data, and, and you know I look forward to hearing from you. I, I hope you enjoy using this really awesome product. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.